is up fishing geeks today we are going back to the Ogali River for the first time in a while but I have it on good authority that the snook bite is on fire so we're gonna go check that out I got my fishing bag swag on point Ooh, let's go Here, fishy, 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 fishy. See if we can get them. There's a lot of action early over here. Oh, big snook just followed up. He saw me. I think there's more over there. First fish right there. Yes. Give me a snook, I think. Oh yeah. There we go. Let's go. Whoo! Oh, acrobatic guy. Right. Whoo. Still fighting. Right in the corner of the lip. Perfect. That Slayer camo paddle tail. It is early too. Second follow up, five o'clock. Alright, let's get him up here. Yeah, nice little guy. Gorgeous. I'm gonna get a quick picture. Feisty little guy, give me a snook thumb. Swim off really quick. See if we can get another one. Got fish blowing up everywhere over here. What's happening? All right, they are still here. So we're gonna throw a little spro jig. I believe they're eating these little minnows back here or baby anchovies. They're great, blowing up like crazy off this house here. So we're gonna give this a shot real quick. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> I'm gonna go move my trolling motor. Kind of a little one, I think. Yep. I had a feeling that's what's up in there. Smack the little spro jig. Just a little chunk here. And then we go quickly. Peace, buddy. You, two fish. 530. I'll take that. It is going crazy for this top water. <laughs> Little tarpon everywhere back here. All right, we're about to kick it old school. Some DOA terror eyes, root beer color. Try to get some of these baby tarpon back here. Ooh, it's got ripped. Still getting ripped. Man, I don't know what that was, but it was cool. There we go. Baby tarpon right there. Oh my gosh. That was it. 
Oh, I just couldn't get the hook set. And he jumped before I got the hook set. There's at least some under this black. See right there? You see that? Try to cast at the black. Black dock. There you go. Perfect. Just let it drop for like a second and then you can jig it or slow retrieve it out. There's one right there. Oh, we got one. Uh, that was a ladyfish, it looked like. They're back in here a little bit too. Oh, there's, do you see that little tarpon that's come up? The great five feet off the boat. It was either a tarpon or a snook. Here's one. There's a snook. See, they jump. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Slimy when you grab them like every other fish. Like they're really easy to take off. They just fray up the line like crazy. 29, something crazy. My bait fell off. <laughs> Ooh, look, there's another one following them. Did you see that? Fish. There you go. He gone. No crappy jig. Jack behind you. Oh, there's one. <laughs> it's so cool. Your eye is sticking out on your guy. <laughs> I think there there's a, some jack exploded behind the boat. Uh, it might have been that dolphin. So that snook ended up being the last fish of the day. Ended up having some good intel from Zach TV. Shout out Zach TV. He's actually the fisherman in that first O'Galley video in the canoe. He was making fun of me for all of my releases <laughs> on those jacks. So he was telling me there was a really hot snook bite going on, especially during the midday versus usually in the evening. So day one went in there with a five inch paddle tail. This summer I was thinking big baits. Noticed they were all eating this tiny little fry, so I switched to that bucktail jig. Ended up catching one more snook, made my way into the back, saw a bunch of tarpon all over the place. Definitely you could see what looked like rain in the backwater there. It was actually like just millions, I'm going to say millions, millions of bait fish, this little fry. Didn't end up actually landing any tarpon, but I hooked into that one, which was pretty awesome. Got super excited, went back out the next day took my father with me because it's Father's Day weekend and we caught a couple snook off that front dock again. This time though I came prepared and bought these little two inch paddle tails. They're actually crappie bait. Definitely a little closer in size to what they're eating on so I think that was definitely the hot hot tip there. But we made our way in the back and there just wasn't any tarpon. It's weird how like one day they'll be in there and the next day they won't be in there. Then the following day they'll be in there again. So I'm not really sure what's going on, I haven't figured it out yet. I actually went back for a third day. Big tarpon everywhere, saw a six foot bull shark. I still couldn't get any of the tarpon to eat, so I think I'm gonna have to switch to live bait slash cut bait soon. It seems like I'm saying that in like every video. I just need to take the plunge. I have so much fun fishing artificial. Make sure you like, subscribe on the channel. 
If you want to see some different interesting content from around the river that I take pictures and stuff like that, check out the Instagram. But until next time, peace.